beautiful. Welcome back to Vicky TV, a little haven where we talk about self-care, self-love, and self-improvement. In today's video, I want to share with you story of my own insecurity. It got so bad that I rather wash my face in the dark. I rather keep the light out than to see my skin got worse. So I came here to the U.S. when I was 15. I was born in a tropical weather, so of course my skin get used to it. I had flawless porcelain skin, a true definition of Korean glass skin that was trendy the last two, three years. But that quickly changed after the first year living here in the US. I started to experience breakout and then slowly turn into acne, into it was a full-on severe cystic acne. And you know, I wish I was brave enough to take a picture at the time to show you it today, but I wasn't. Fast forward into high school, I finally decided to reach out to a dermatologist because I wanted to know what happened to my skin. Looking back, it was a brave decision because I have tried so many products, methods, way to improve my situation without understanding what happened to my skin. I actually hurt my skin more than I helped it. It was a journey that I wish no one have to experience. But if you do, I got you. Just before we start, a quick disclaimer. I'm not a dermatologist, though this experience inspired me to become a master esthetician. Everything that I've mentioned in this video worked for me had helped me through this time. Let's go. First thing first, I never wash my face in the morning. All I use is uh, micellar water and a room temperature already boiled water. So what I did was, and still do, is to wipe a thin layer of micellar water onto my skin rinse it with cold water because I shower in cold water and I finish it with the room temperature water being on Accutane my eye was like a raisin dry eye, dry skin, dry lips Ugh, my lips, gosh I aged my lips during that time more than my entire life together it was so dry I it was an experience I don't want to experience again. Speaking about dry lips, I could not open my mouth wide. Why? Because it was so dry, the whole surface and even the corner too, it was so dry that I can feel the skin split sometime. It was so unbearable, but I find a way to help my poor lips. In the beginning, I experienced little blister on the upper uh, lip area. I used this combo. This is an extremely hydrated toner and Aquaphor. I kick it on every day, especially in the morning and at nighttime. Another product that helped my skin during it most fragile time was water essence. It's like putting water back onto my skin, my poor skin at the time. Like I mentioned before, no matter how much water you drink, your skin receive it last. This product helped my skin heal faster because it's there to keep my skin hydrated and keep it together. If you don't know, being on Accutane, your skin is extremely dry because the medication is supposed to prevent the forming of new acne as well as 
drying out the current one. This tip is actually from my dermatologist. So take Accutane with fish oil or anything fatty at all. It will help your body absorb the medication. I have a friend, um, when she took her, she took it with a spoon of peanut butter. This last tip is so important for all of you who are taking Accutane out there. I swear if you have to hear this one more time from my video, you'll be mad at me. But I rather you mad at me than don't do it. And that is wearing sunscreen. Your skin during this time is so sensitive and dry and fragile. It needs your help to protect it new skin will form but it needs time to tough up so it needs your help this is time and money and effort that you putting into this is an investment protect it taking accutane your skin will go through this purging process meaning it will get worse before it can get better don't worry keep your dermatologist update communicate with him or her what is going on with your skin what you are going through beside what they told you that might be the side effect of from taking it stay hydrate and moisturize all the time it will help you through this time be patient your skin will be better okay i was on accutane for six months some of the tips that I mentioned today still with me. Some with me for 10 years, some even longer. My skin is at its healthiest stage. It's dewy, it's glowy, it's happy, and that's make my heart happy because it was one, my insecurity. I hope this video find you and you find this video informative. This journey taught me more than just skincare. It taught me that every change, every desire that I have or I want, it has to come from me. It starts with me. Stay in touch, my friend, by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for future videos. I'll catch you next time on Vicky TV. Bye, friends!